Okay, so we jumping right into this video. As you can see right here, I'm lining the wig up with my edges. I'm not too concerned about the wig placement. I'm more so concerned about the edges placement. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I'm gonna click mesh form. And this is how you bend the wig properly so it looks more realistic and not so stiff. It's gonna take some time to get used to just play around with it it's very simple once you get the hang of it so just play around with it bend your wig and see how it looks and as you can see by my neck i'm still not worried about the placement there that's not a big deal like don't worry about that right away so now coming to save that neck what i go to is my special brush and then i just Pull the thickness to like the size I think it should be. And you know, you just move the wig over a little bit, fill in that gap. So, right now, I'm just seeing like how the wig is lined up on my avatar. Um, you got two different ways to do this. You can either erase the rest of it or you can go back with that um, special pin and like kind of move the wig off your face. Either way I go, I'm going to erase it for a cleaner look. Take as much time as you need with erasing. It's not hard, but it's not very easy either. Um, you have to kind of make sure you get it just right so you like me i'm a stickler about perfection so i really undo redo undo redo until i get it almost perfect When it comes to the ball cap, you got two different ways of erasing this. Either you can go ahead with the eraser, you know, just take your time and do it right. Or you can go back with the specialty pin, as you will see in a few moments. The only thing I like better about the eraser and the specialty pin, as you can see as I pull it down, it changes the color of her scalp. So me personally, if I'm doing an IMVU background, I will use the specialty pin to erase the cap. If I'm doing a Pinterest background, I will use the eraser to erase the cap. And that's just me. For this look in particular, I'm going to go ahead and use the eraser so I can have me a nice clean scalp. So now it's time to add the little PNGs I used to decorate my picture. I go into Pixar, I click the blank background, the transparent one, and then I go to stickers. And then I'll type in like flash, glare, shine, any of those, and I'll find me like a glitter tool. Um, just try them out. If you like them, um, you know, keep them. If you don't like it, throw it away and get a different one. I didn't like that one, so I'm going to grab a different one. So I'm going to use this one. What I'm going to do is save it and then I'm going to bring it back to IBS Paint. And as you can see, I'm going to just go ahead and add it to the picture where I want it to go.
And then right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline her neck so that you can tell the difference between her neck and her jaw line, I guess, and chin line. <laughs> Don't mind me. I obviously got the wrong brush, so I'm going to go in and fix that. Like me personally, I'm a perfectionist, so if I fuck up, I'm going to undo and redo it again. Like, please take your time doing this. It's not in a rush. The more times you mess up, just undo it and redo it again. You'll get it one time. You'll get it eventually. Just redo, redo, redo. Also, this outlining method you can also use to, like, um outline any parts of your body you know if you want to contour your nose anything i can also make another video to show you guys how i do makeup but i didn't do it for this one this is how i bought my head from base skins go shop her she's the best Right here, I'm just going and outline her cleavage area. Just give her more of like a, a, a busty look. So right here, I'm just going to add PNG lashes, and this is totally optional. I have bought these lashes from Wigs by Brie on Instagram. If you text my Instagram, I can easily send you the link to her profile. Right here, I just want to line them up as um, close as I can to the natural eyelash that's already on the character. I want to just line it up as close as I can, make it kind of same size, make it fit the eye the same way. And that's what I'm doing right here. I was going to erase this little part of the eyelash, but I decided I can just tuck it under the wig instead. So I just scrolled all the way to the bottom and put it right underneath the wig, and that's how you put it underneath the layer. Okay, so this is pretty much the finished look after I'm done editing the PNG. So from right here, you're going to go to the, um, the back arrow and save as a transparent PNG. Remember that? Transparent PNG. And then I go to Pinterest. And I just type in anything like I am view background bathroom, I am view background outside. I type in anything, but I put I am view background. And then show you a list of backgrounds like Sims, that one game Zootopia. I think that's how I don't know how to pronounce that. So don't even don't even come for me. But you know, it's gonna show you a list of backgrounds that could kind of fit with your character. I'm gonna just speed this part up because this is just me digging for a background. And please take your time digging. Find which one you really feel like will resonate with your picture. Okay, so after you find the background, I usually take my picture to PixArt. So I'll add the background. And then I'll crop it. But then I'll go over to the Instagram symbol where it says portrait. And then, you know, I'll just line it up but so I can make sure it actually fit on the Instagram feed. Then I'll go back to add photo and add my transparent PNG. And you know, just place her properly. And 
and then before you click apply go to shadow go to shadow before you click apply go to shadow So when you go to shadow, you want to make sure that the shadow is placed properly. So me personally with this picture, I'm going to put it on the ground. And then the transparency, like the darkness of the shadow, I changed that up too. So it won't look unrealistic if you get my vibe. Okay, so then I'll go to sticker and add a little few things for the background. Okay, so this is always the difference between um, placing your PNG items with the stickers on your background right away versus going to IBS Paint and doing it. Um, I feel like IBS Paint saves the quality. Um, Pixar kind of ruins the quality of the PNG items. So that's just my personal opinion. Do as you please. You can use Pixar and decorate the background before you before you actually use the background. Do as you please. You know what I mean? But this is just the way I do it. And you guys ask me how I do my edits. So this is how I do them.
So then here's how I kind of bring back the quality to the photo. Um, I go to um, effects and not blur. I accidentally messed up there, but I go to FX at the bottom. And then I go to HDR1 and then I'll unfade it, unblur it, but sharpen all the way to 100. And this is completely your choice. You can do this as many times as you want to. I did it a couple times and called it a day. Okay, and then your last step is to save the photo. Usually, I would use Remini, but I don't have it right now. So I have to use Pixel Up. It comes close best second. But it's not, it's not nearly what Remini could do. So get Remini. Enhancing the quality of the photo. here's your before and after so you guys can see close up before and after and there you have it that's how i edit my imvu pictures with a non-imvu background i can show you guys how to do makeup i can show you guys how to do pictures with imvu backgrounds but this is simple and easy for probably all mobile users to use so go ahead have fun put your own twist on it do your own thing and just remember to have fun also remember to redo 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 and try again and try again and try again until you got it down pat baby and don't let nobody tell you what you can't do with your own edit it's yours have fun make the best of it and if you're into like celebrity tea and all that stuff like that stay tuned into my channel if you're into i am view and all things i am view stay tuned into my channel trust me it's more to come and you guys have a beautiful day